Always aim for the top. Be the best of the best. Winning on winning on winning. To reach your full potential, you may not always fit in, but here are my three tips to help you stand out. So let's do this, y'all. Yeah, yeah. All I ever think about is winning. I don't need to fit in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to explain again and again, but you never wanna listen. Never wanna push you in. I'm at the party. One minute you see me, the next minute I'm gone. All my life, I was always the first one to leave the party. Now, I know that some of you will say, ah, well, that's not fun. Well, I ain't most people, and neither are you. I can tell you that wanting to fit in so bad may actually move you away from your goalpost. You wake up the next morning with a bad headache, low energy, low vibrations, low frequencies, and I'm not my regular confident self. Missing out on a few events, I gotta understand that there's more on the other side. High energy, high confidence, high vibrations, high connections, and nothing but opportunity. Now I believe that we're the average of our five closest friends. So if your five closest friends are hungry to win, then they're gonna motivate you to do the exact same. But if your five closest friends are always down to party, then you're not gonna get anywhere. So check your entourage, and if you wanna win, then you need to surround yourself with expanders. People who expand the realm of what's possible on this planet. People who have something that you wanna have. Now I grew up in a lower working class family with my grandparents from age six to 14. It was a one bedroom apartment. I slept on the couch with my brother. And it wasn't the best circumstances, but I knew that if I was going to go somewhere in life, I could not continue into that destructive path with all the other kids in my neighborhood. So I had an instinct to ask my grandparents, hey, can you uh, put me into a better school? And they did. So I arrived into this new school and I didn't fit in because I looked at all the other kids that came from wealthy families and I was a bit intimidated, lower confidence but they were still expanders to me. They showed me an example of what's possible in life through the hard work of their families. So I have to be thankful that I was surrounded with all these people in order to show me what I can accomplish and how I can win. And by the way, big shout out to the Panzini family. So in the end, if you want to win in life, then you have to surround yourself with expanders. And if you don't have access to these expanders at that specific moment in your life, then you can still watch videos. You can read books. You can virtually put yourself in a productive band of frequency. Remember, the physical form is only one tiny expression on this planet. You can still win if you put your positive intentions psychologically, spiritually, and energetically. Now, if you're getting pressure from the herd to do something that your heart, your mind, and your gut are telling you not to do, then you should never fold to the pressure. The herd mentality will always control you through fear. I never cared about being judged or fitting in. I always did my own thing. And I know that some people didn't believe in me. And some were even like, a CEO can't make it to the top if he's rapping or has tattoos. But all of that, it doesn't matter because real recognize real. So whenever I was meeting these investors, they didn't have to peel a thousand layers and be like, who is this guy I'm investing in? They knew I had a good product. They knew I had a good team. They knew I had the winner mentality. And that's what matters. So you have to stay real throughout the whole process. True leaders, they don't care about being judged. And most importantly, they want everybody else to win. So I just focus on my mission. And my mission is all about winning and winning and winning. We interrupt this episode for an important message from our sponsors. Love. Show love to one another every day. 
and you're gonna keep winning, winning, and winning. Here are my key takeaways. Leave the party early, surround yourself with expanders, and don't follow the herd. Fitting in is about fitting into who you really are. And now it's time for Zia's killer question. Oh no! Got your lady that be jumping up and down. So you talk a lot about the unimportance of fitting in, but how do you avoid feeling left out? Zia, always with the tough questions. First, I don't feel left out. I may leave the party early, but that's because I got better things to do. And life is not only about partying, it's important to have a mission in life. And I don't need a thousand friends to feel like I'm fitting in. I got my people, I got my expanders, and I'm cool with that. And you know what, I'm on my own path, so I don't need to follow the herd. I'd rather be the black sheep, and it's cool to be the black sheep. You know, overall, I wanna have fun, but I need to gain value in the process, you know? Thanks for watching, I got none but love, and I challenge you to become the best of the best of the best version of yourself. Next week, you don't wanna miss this, cause we're gonna talk about dopamine, and I'll give you my three tips to bring you to the next level. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for another episode of How to Win. You think I don't care about anything Open your trap and I'm dismissing All of the haters I'm distancing All I ever think about is winning I don't need to fit in I try to explain again and again But you never wanna listen Never wanna push your ambition Straighten your position